Hi, my name is Lynn Clark and I'm a museum assistant for Aberdeen Art Gallery and Museums. And for those of you familiar with Aberdeen Maritime Museum, you will have seen the object which greets you at the Adelphi entrance, the new suit. Indeed, standing at 206 centimetres and weighing in a whopping 832 pounds, you can hardly miss it. Imposing in stature, it stands as if on sentry duty, surveying those who stop and stare a quiet authority that perhaps comes from its sheer size and scale. It looks almost otherworldly, as if its voluminous nature and bulbous shape were designed to explore the edges of outer space. But while the suit is indeed designed for exploration, it's not for the far reaches of the solar system, but for the depths of the Earth's oceans. It is in fact an atmospheric diving suit, designed and originally built by Phil Newton. The one in our collection dates from the 1990s and was used extensively in the North Sea for work on ocean drilling rigs, pipelines, salvage work and photographic surveys. The suit allows diving to take place at a depth of 300 metres and protects the pilot from outside water pressure, thereby avoiding the need for decompression. The unique design of the oil-filled rotary joints allows for a wide range of mobility even at great depths. There are 20 joints in total, the wrist being the smallest and the hip being the largest. The big pincers, or manipulator jaws, at the end of each arm allow the pilot to handle tools. Not easy in cloudy or choppy seas, especially when the pilot is effectively wearing a submarine as a suit. The new suit is almost robotic-like, something inherently cold and clinical in its outlook with that huge metal surface area. At the same time, however, it is operated by a very real, living, breathing person. An interesting contrast that reinforces our ideas of the relationships between human and machine.